you can turn on any social media and just watch reel after reel of people doing i mean hopping out their cars and cussing people out in front of their kids and you know being half naked i mean i mean there's there's a current scandal going on right now of a, of a gamer that was dming 17 year old girls meanwhile people are using the same platform twitch young girls are getting on there and getting half naked for money I mean, and it's like, how do you call out the hypocrisy? Because if you call one out and you call the other out, doesn't matter. You, you can't call anybody out because nobody uh, wants to be held accountable for anything. And that, that to me, I think uh, pastors are kind of just, um, I mean, it's, it's, I really don't know of any other way to put it. They're kind of just screwed. <laughs> well, <laughs> you know? well and I, spir spiritual authority has gone out the door. <sighs> Nobody can tell anybody to do anything anymore, you know? Yeah. Rebellious spirit. Go ahead, James. Well, I was just going to say, I think, you know, here's, I think something's going to happen in the church that I've seen happen in a different way. Let me explain it like this. Um, so it's, it's hard to trust in God until he's all you have to trust in. And then it becomes yeah. easy. When I have a job that makes tons of money or good money, and then I'm coming up on a financial difficulty, I, I, I get stressed out, you know, oh God, you've got to come through. We've lived the last four years really without making enough money to pay our bills. It's amazing how easy it is to see a bill that we don't have money for and go, okay, God, here it is. You know, because I trust him, I, I live in that moment and I'm at the, and I, I pray that even if I get to the point again where I'm making enough money, quote unquote, to pay the bills, that in that moment, mm. I will have the same kind of faith that I'm living in now. So, mm. but here's how that translates into what we're talking about. We're getting to a point, pastors have tried to walk the line. We have too long, we've tried to walk the line and we've tried to come across as loving, right? I'm not talking about being loving. Right. We've tried to come across as loving. Right. And and to walk this knife edge of how do we say this? How do we do this? And and not just be loving, but appear loving as well. But what what's happened is now we have a society that two things have happened. One is there's one side that it doesn't matter what you say. They're not going to see you as loving. And at the same time, within the church, and I'm not talking the actual church, I'm talking people that share that label. You have, you have people that are declaring that those things which are sinful are not. And yeah. they're declaring that the love of God says you can be any way you want to be. Um, you can do anything you want to do. God loves you. And they're wearing this mantle, so to, so to speak. It's a fake mantle. It's not a genuine mantle, but they're wearing a fake mantle of the church. And so... For me as a pastor, I almost feel like a weight has been lifted because it doesn't matter what I do, right? So where does that leave me? Well, that leaves me with the Lord. That leaves mm. me with, I am going to be loving and kind. I'm going to realize that I mess up the same as anybody else, and I need the grace of God just like anybody, but I also stand for a righteous standard in myself first and in and in the world next. And, and so... I don't have to live, you know, Dr. Horton used to say you live by the, and it's not his saying, but you live by the praises of man, you die by the praises of man. Yeah. I don't have to live by the praises of man. You know, my yeah. job is to live by the praises of God. Go ahead. No, I, I think you are hitting on a, a really crucial point, And that is the fact that we must, we, we have to understand that the relationship and responsibility to please the Lord has yeah. to supersede everything yeah. else and pastor minister friend of any position pastors you know worship pastors youth pastors children's pastors there's satan himself will make sure there's those moments that you have to make that choice i mean yep. there will be those moments they're hard yeah. moments they're painful mm -hmm. because you know that when they're looking at you and they're wanting agreement and they want you to sacrifice your relationship and calling to please them. And you have to make that hard decision mm. knowing, knowing 
that as soon as you utter the words out of your mouth, no matter how loving and encapsulated yeah. it is in the, in the precious love of God, mm -hmm. that it will not be how you say it that's going to make right. the difference. It will be what you're saying.